So, before I forget, next week, you have something very important. What is it? You have a mid-semester assessment. Here's what it's all about, when it is, etc., etc. On Monday, we will review, so that will be nice. But, what should you do this weekend? Yeah, you should look over your notes, go over your last quizzes, things like that. There's also a lot of websites available on Moodle. If you go and check those out, those will be really, really helpful. So please do study. At the end of class today, I'm also going to give you an opportunity to get some extra credit. Mr. Legault just talked to you about how grades are coming out. They're going home to your parents next week. So if you want to boost your grade a little bit, you can do this extra credit opportunity this weekend. Okay. So today we're going to continue our talk about electricity and talk about how it's used in a certain device. Okay? And maybe you'll see where, where I'm going with this eventually. But I have a message... May. I have a message for you all on this sheet of paper. How can I get it to you? How can I get this message to you, my students? Give me some ways that I could get this message to someone in this class. Holly, give me one. Okay, let's say I can't walk to you and give it to you. What can I do, Ariel? Oh, I could type you an email. I could be like, oh, Ariel, okay. I could email it. What else could I do, Raphael? I could read it. I could read it aloud to you. Okay, what else could I do? Send message. How? Um, use a telephone. Okay, I could use a telephone. I could call you and say, hey, Shirley, I have a message for you. And read it to you. What else could I do, Angela? Um, yeah, I could crumple it up and chuck it to Angela. Okay? So there's lots of good ways of getting the message across the room. Raphael? Okay, so there's actually, we said email, but there's lots of ways that we can use computers to get that message across. Now, what I'd like you to do in your lab groups is talk about these different methods of sending messages. Okay, so we had some use of computers, like email. We had speak the message using sound. We could throw the message. Or we could use telephone. All right. In your lab groups, I want you to talk about how these things are similar or different in methods of communication. How is throwing a message across the room like sending an email? How is it different? Okay, I want you to talk with your lab groups about this, come up with a couple ideas, and then we'll bring it back together as a class. Okay, go ahead and have a, have a little conversation with your lab group. How are these things different? So, 
about what makes the best sound transmitting device or telephone. Okay? All right, so I'm going to give who will be the recorder in this group, the writer. Is it just the person with the best handwriting? Is that who has to do the writing? Georgia will do it. I did not have the best handwriting. Who's the writer in this group? Claudia. Claudia. No. <laughs> hey, who's the writer here? Selena. Okay, you may go ahead and start designing our experiment. If you need help from a teacher, raise your hand. Water. So you both. Oh, 
is, right? A one paragraph biography on someone who helped to develop the telephone. Since obviously today you were making telephones. I want you to look up, to do research on someone who helped to make the telephone. I've given you some suggestions of people's names that helped to research the telephone. Some of them maybe made the very first telephone ever. Some of them maybe helped to make cell phones. So you can learn more about cell phones by doing this extra credit. Okay? Now, where are you going to do research? On the internet. On the internet. What do you do when you find information on the internet? Somebody just said copy and paste, and I want to die right now. Please do not copy and paste. What happens if you copy and paste? You will go to jail. So you get a zero? You don't understand anything that you research? And you get to go see Mr. Elias and talk about the honor code. Because that is a violation of our honor code. So, please write a paragraph in your own words for extra credit. Now, if you do not have time to do this this weekend, is that okay? Maybe. Yes, it's fine. It's extra credit. It's extra credit. You do not need to do this homework. But you can. You can do it, and you can get lots of extra points onto your science grade, which many of you need very badly right now. Okay? So for the rest of class, just look over your lab report. Make sure everything is correct on your lab report. And then you will turn it in to a teacher when you're all finished. Okay, so keep working with your labs.